So apparently I've just become known on YouTube as the guy that unboxes guitars with beautiful women. And today is no exception. <laughs> Man, that hair is looking good, Davi. I uh, know, right? What's happening? It's the horse hair shampoo. Oh, is, is that the secret? It's for horses, <laughs> correct. Every day? How often do you shampoo? Three times a day. Three Man, that's a commitment to the look right there. Oh, yeah, it's a lifestyle. Well, how about we unbox this baby? This is a baby, mm -hmm. and it's uh, traveled nine months, moon months here. Nine moon months? God. That's <laughs> great. Wow. <laughs> 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 you learned so. I, I, I see you've seen a, a video or two of these. I have. I have, have seen some videos of this. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this because this is supposed to be <laughs> all in one. Is, is that is that is that what we're gonna need the knife for? I, I don't know. It looks like there's a box within a box okay. right here. Oh, at, hold on. I didn't look at that knife safety. Yeah, you have that to. Was... Hmm. There we go. Oh, and here it is. Another... Oh, Donner. Electric guitar! Thank you, Donna! The good people at Donna, hook it up. I am excited about what is in this box because it's something I've been waiting for for a very long time. Ugh. All right, so what is what is in here? Um, are you gonna be using this box later? Probably not. Okay, so this is how I would unbox it. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared about it. <laughs> what, an, what an animal. What an, oh, The humanity. There's a Florida wild man in my house and he's taking it out. <laughs> now that's not the most elegant thing I've ever seen. Thank you for your help. Hope there was nothing. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate the cleanup crew right here. Okay, this is the reveal. Mm -hmm. I'll unzip it, and you'll have to reveal it, just like with the girls. Oh! Whoa! Oh, that's anticlimactic with like the plastic inside. But yeah. Maybe you can already get an idea for why I'm so excited about this guitar, even through the layer of is plastic. Is it green? Yes! It's it Emerald is. Rider's guitar! Look how good this is! This is good. My favorite color on a guitar of all time is Sherwood Green. Sherwood Green. Like okay. the 62 uh, Strat Sherwood Green, my, uh -huh. my go-to. I just, I love that color. And I feel like they've, they've pulled it off. Look at this guy. Wow. This is so sick. I love this. This is great. Oh, and not only that, but they're like, you know, we're going for a vintage vibe. We're giving you a vintage instrument. So they also sent me a pedal, a pedal to run it through its paces with. So wow. both of these are super, super affordable. There will be affiliate links in, in the description below. Donner sponsored these videos. I've used a bunch of Donner guitars, as have you, right? Never been a better time to get into guitar by maybe starting with a beginner budget-friendly guitar. So we're gonna tune this up and then we're gonna rock it out and give you our thoughts. All right, we got it all tuned up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five positions. What you would expect on a Strat. Except how about this little bridge guy right here? This guy came to party. Right now, I run this through my Fender amp. Little dry though. Little dry. Little dry. What can it? What can we do? Oh. right here. Huh? Tell me to. <laughs> You're right. You have I'm to just, feel it. I should have been a little more specific with my instructions of how I wanted this demo to go. 
So this is a vintage verb pedal. We have a few different knobs here. They can be controlled in maybe more appropriate ways. <laughs> it has a short and long. That's right. That's and that's for reverb. <laughs> that's for the pre-delay. Oh yeah, okay. So one of them is, there's a bunch of different types of delays, right? So this mm -hmm. one that clicks through all the different types. What room. Here we go. We're on room now. Everything's at 12 o'clock. Get that short slap, that little room slap. That's the mix. DK. Looks like that room just got a little bigger. And tone. I like that. I like I like the tone. I think the tone knob is an underappreciated feature on a reverb pedal. It's like a high pass, low pass filter. For sure. I like it. A lot of times if you're like playing something that already has a lot of high end up here. A lot of times the, the, the reverb will just kind of amplify the parts of the sound I don't want to hear and just kind of like put the bad part of my sound into a room and have it bouncing around. So having a, a tone knob on a reverb pedal is actually kind of... thing that this man right here appreciates about a reverb pedal like this is it's in stereo. Yeah. It's... Why is that important, Davidas? Left and right. Everyone has two ears. Why do guitarists run everything in mono? <laughs> is all of your audience only have one functioning ear? Because you hit them right between the eyes with that mono signal, huh? You want to you want to pleasure their ears a little more. Floss. Right. Floss. Check this out. We're gonna go to hall. Uh, I think it's studio now. Actually. Okay. We're still in mono, but you get it. Right. <laughs> Just picture stereo. Just pretend, yeah, pretend you're not watching it on your iPhone or something. Yeah. You know, but. Super vintage vibes. Let's try hall. We're in the hallway now. Plate? All right. Tectonic plate. All right. The pentatonic plate? Tectonic. I'll play the tectonic scale. Maybe back off that mix just a hair. <laughs> Era. This is it. Perfect. 
perfect yeah. for right. that. Juliana, do you wanna? <laughs> it is kind of, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's up there, it's up there. Wait, let me do my best on Drea. No, I can't do that. I can't top that. Okay. <laughs> you're getting there, you're on your way. And wait, there's more. How? This verb. There's this Dis verb. This verb. Oh, it's like a distortion in the reverb? Does that? I've heard that, but not in one pedal. That's interesting. Normally, you would need several pedals. For and that. Another cool thing. So I think you can press and hold a freeze. That's kind of cool, then. His clean Here's tone. My clean tone. <laughs> Amazing, you, right? You're like Andy from Gear Review, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you get the idea. Anyway, this is great. This, this is very, I, very nice. Lot, so much that you can do. Do you want to? Would you like to play this? Give us your uh, thoughts. Sure. Let's, let's try let's it. Let's see what you got. All right. Uh, now I'll be in charge of the vintage verb pedal here. I'll have a good time. I uh, need a pick. Oh. Mm -hmm. Here's a nice little green one. Thank you. Nice little green one. Mm -hmm. Everything's green. That's how we do it. Okay. All right. Let's oh. Try it. oh. So we've got we've got this Donner the this the best color they've made so far. Not a true Sherwood green, but it's in the ballpark for sure. It's my favorite color of anything that they make right now. Hard look at the good. grain. I like the grain. Yeah, they really they they do. I don't know how they do this so cheap. Even like the tuners. So I'm gonna be using this in a lesson coming up soon. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just wanted to have my guy over here help me unbox it. Talk a little bit about the Vintiverb. Vintiverb. Get some good times in. If you're looking for a stereo re reverb pedal that has a ton of different options, we've got we've got affiliate links galore. And then go check out my man Davidas on his channel because he's just a beast out there slaying it. And luckily, you might see me operating his live guitar rig and then just putting the reverb on full mix for the entire set. Yes. <laughs> because now I kind of owe that to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. 